I want to go over an issue I ran into when trying to write a Windows PowerShell script. I was trying to customize the PowerShell prompt so that if I'm in a folder that's being tracked by a Git repository that I would get some information about the status of the repository. Basically I'm trying to get this information here and it shows you how many files are added and modified and tracked or untracked and what have you. Um, basically the command I'm using is this uh, git status and with a porcelain argument and you can see uh, let me copy this and paste it and you can see that the output of this command it shows you for example that this particular file has been added to the git index these files are modified in your working folder but not in the index and these, file, these particular files are not being tracked by git and what I wanted to do was parse out this information here and then summarize it up on the prompt. Well, the problem that I actually ran into was when I assigned the output of this uh, particular executable to a, to a variable, and I have this test uh, PowerShell script right here, and so I'm going to go ahead and I'll run that and show what happens. You'll see that the output is what I would expect. It has the carriage return line feeds just like above and this is being output on this particular line here. But if I did a, a write host of this output, or if you use it as a string anywhere in your script, you're losing your carriage return line feeds, and basically your string was looking like this. And for my particular script, I wanted the carriage return line feeds because I was going to key off them for a regular expression to parse the output. Well, this was really confusing. It took quite a while to figure out. And basically what it ends up is that the output of this command with the carriage return line feeds is actually it PowerShell, it, when it assigns the output to this particular variable, this ends up actually being an array of strings. And so you can see this right here. If I go status.count, you'll see that there's seven indexes in the array, one for each line. So that's why it it seems to, you know, you lose your carriage return line feeds, you get an array of strings. So if you want to use it as a string, the output it just as a string, what I did in this particular case is I used the .NET system, you know, string class, I used the join function, I went ahead and joined all of the um, entries in the array, I went ahead and separated them by a character return line feed like I wanted, and then I get the uh, I actually get just a string. And here you can see on this right host, you can see I now have my carriage return line feeds, and it's just an individual string. So hopefully this will help someone out. It took me quite a while to figure this out. Um, and hopefully this will help shortcut the time it takes to figure it out for someone. So take care. Have fun.